श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कवितासरी वेदाताचार्यवर्यो मे सन्नीदत्ता सदा हृदय रामाणुज दया पात्र ज्ञान वैराग्यभूषण श्रीमद्वेकनाथार्य वंदे वेदातेशिक नीलातुंगस्तनगिरीदी शुद्धमुद्बोध्य कृष्ण पारार्थ्यम स्वं श्रुतिशत शिश्यापयी शोच्यष्टायां शजन गलिम व्यापलाकृत्युंक्ते गोदात से नमदमित भूय ये वास्तु भूय टुडे इज द सिक्स्थ वर्ष द सिक्स्थ वर्ष आफ तिरपावै पुलुम शिलंबिन खाण पुलरयन कोयल वेलई विशंगी पेरवम कटो पिंदे मुले नंजु कलचड़ कलकोचि वरवर् विको मुनि योग अंतरियामीवट Five verses. From Pasuram six to fifteen, the ten verses, ten Pasurams, and all wakes up ten of her friends and invites them to join her to go to Sri Krishna's house, pray and request him for parai or moksha. These ten verses deem to be referring to. The ten Bhagavatas, Bhagavatottamas, are being woken up in these pasurams. Bhagavata Tirupalliyachi, awakening of the devotees of Lord Krishna are covered. Ten important bhaktas are deeply involved with Krishna Anubhavam. They are woken up to participate in the Sharanagati Nonbu. so each of the 10 important devotees as a representation of the 500000 gopis of krishna are awakened with each pasuram from 6 to 15 so in this sixth pasuram the first one is awakened who is a who is a beginner in bhakti so she does not know the difference between bhagavat and bhagavata anubhavam सो एक भुंजीता भुंजीता च दसभिस्सह से शास्त्र दटे परम बोध्य वस्तु गुड फीस्ट गुड फुड के नाट बी कंस्यूमड अलोन इट हेज टू बी कंस्यूमड वित् मेनी पीपल अट्लीस्ट टेन पीपल इफ दट वेर सो फॉर ईवन फॉर द वर्लडली कंसम्शन वाट अबउट द भगवद अनुभव ऑब्वियली यू नीड टू हेव वेरी मेनी adiyars bhagavatas along with them you have to enjoy bhagavata anubhava so the <coughs> the sixth verse is wake up o young girl even the birds have woken up they are chirping they are making sounds can't you hear the sacred sound from the conch shell shank being blown at the nearby temple of our lord he is garuda rudan he is garuda vahanan he rides on the divine garuda wake up girl the yogis and the sages who are known for their uninterrupted dhyanam of permal they are celebrating his adbhuta leelas they are talking about bhagavan krishna's leela one is destroying the evil putana by by sucking her poisonous poison smeared milk bearing breasts and at the same time the krishna sucked her own life away they are talking about the cunning asura who came in the fort of came in the in the as a shakatam as a cart wheel and tried to 
try to crush the baby kanna the baby simply kick the wheel with a small foot and it's it splintered into pieces with a kick from the tiny toe he is the primordial chief he is jagat karana he sleeps on adisheshan in yoga nidra in the park kadal milky ocean the yogis and sages have now come out of their meditation slowly they are reciting the name hari 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 hi seven times in the morning the the crescendo the the sound of the hari namam sankirtanam resounds like thunder and enters into our hearts and enters into our mind it pleases us doesn't that sound come to your ears doesn't it please your heart please wake up join us for the nombu so such a beautiful verse the inner meanings are wonderful here the lord took hamsa avataram hamsa avataram is for the avataram to to capture to retrieve the vedas and to initiate chaturmukha brahma with the vedas gave him back the gnanam knowledge and such hamsa perumal and also the parama hamsas acharyas because of their kripai and because of hamsa avatar perumal's anugraham we are, we are they are performing the acharyas are performing upadesham for us because of perumal's anugraham because the hamsa avataram he retrieved the vedas and acharyas have learned the vedantic truths and that paramahamsa acharyas now are initiating us for us like pakshis like pashu like the birds like the helpless jantu animals the 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 white conch shell the pranavam pranavam like like the pranava roopa shell the conch shell the shank present in the ashtaksharam roopam temple of the lord so ashtaksharam begins with pranavam and that pranavam looks is is in the shape of a conch shell and that shell conch is blowing for us to get to know of the essence of ashtaksharam mantra that shank white shank conch shell is the is the sattva gunam personification sattva gunam embodiment epitome of sattva gunam it instructs us all the wonderful esoteric mantras the esoteric ragasyarthams it is that sound reverberates in us the ragasyartha mantrams its meanings aren't you able to hear the majestic natham of that conch shell it sounds that conch shell shanka natham gives us these messages one emperman is our master sarvasheshi is the master for all jeevatmas right from the insect up to chaturmukha brahma the creator the the one who has been asked ordained to create by perman as the antaryami of brahma the supreme lord of us is he shriman narayana we are eternal servants of his are you not able to get that uplifting message from the ashtaksharam mantra from the conch shell please discard your childish attitude that the supreme lord and you are one and the same you are that aham brahmasmi or the other devatas are also equal to the lord such viparita gnanam such wrong knowledge you need to be discarded by listening to this reverberating shankanatham get to get to get to obtain receive the grace the anugraham of acharyas who destroy the avidyai ajnanam called putana that putana's lofty two breast poison filled breast are nothing but our 
ahankaram mamankaram in us which are filled with poison of ahankara mamakaram i and mine of those acharyas of those acharyas who destroy those i and mine from us of those acharyas who do not have any desire of swimming in the samsara sagara which is full of thapams which is full of fear snakes of those great acharyas who who keep us who keep us on the track on our journey to moksha by placing us at the feet of shri manarayana by for performing sharanagati for us by being the seed of achara anushtana bhakti vairagya by meditating on those acharyas munivargalum yogigalum the rishis the sages the two kinds of prapannas they are they recognize clearly they their their insufficiencies or our insufficiencies to practice bhakti yoga so one kind of prapannan is known for bhagavad guna anubhavam other known for kaikarya anubhavam so they approach the lord and loudly request him to eliminate the papams and punyams which are the cause for our samsara thapams so they approach acharyan as moksha bija bhutan they are the ones who give us moksha so this sufferers the jivatmas loud cry of the prapannas entered through the acharyas ears and reach perumal's heart ullam pugund kulind it pleases perumal's heart that sound reaching the lord's heart tiruvullam made him happy made him contented that one more jivatma is coming into my fold in shri vaikuntham that anubhavam of the lord or the acharyan made him made him completely pleased hearing this uplifting message and its effect on our lord or on our acharyan oh girl listening to this you should wake up and join our sharanagati nonbu such a beautiful manner swami the andal talks about and swami sri perikaranai chakravartiya swami has written the commentary adiye andal trivadigale sharanam dhanyasmi